Every week we bring you stories of athletes who inspire us. Dante Martin from the Antelope basketball team had his mother taken from him when he was in elementary school. And after dealing with sadness and grief, Dante has slowly been able to heal. When the jersey goes on, it's one of the easiest times to focus. Just on what's happening on the court in that moment. For many players like Antelope Jr. Dante Martin, basketball is an escape. He tells us all the time how much he loves being a part of the program, and he's just a, a, a wonderful guy to have around, um, and he's a good player, so it's nice to have that as well. Coach Jester, the whole coaching staff and the team, since I've been here my freshman year, we've just all clicked, and I've just grew great bonds with them and the coaches, and it just feels like home. Home, a sanctuary, a safe place, at least one can hope. But just over six years ago, the home, the safe place of Dante's mom, Rainey, was intruded upon. She was shot. Dante's mom was shot while she was sitting in her garage in September of 2016. It was a stray bullet from a drive-by shooting. Dante wasn't in the home, but a few of his siblings were. I was in elementary school at the time. I had went to school. It was on the news, and I guess people in my class had heard of it. And of course, I had knew because I was there, but it just had me guessing for a little bit until my family got together at my brother's house, and he let us know that she passed away. Rainey died a week later in the hospital. The devastating news hit eight-year-old Dante hard, but after time, Dante knew he could let his grief consume him or he could let it drive him. When you lose your mom, it's like you can't lose anything else. It's like you have, you're living with nothing to lose. And that's how I kind of see it today. So like anything that I do, I just try to do it with 10% more effort or going harder. Dante put a lot of that effort into basketball. In elementary school, I, I didn't think I was going to take it serious, but when middle school came, I just, I just needed something to, to cope with it. And I thought basketball helped and just, it really did. Basketball is a great opportunity to kind of get away from the day-to-day -day grind that some people face, but then also the, the bigger obstacles. But I think the other thing is just having a, a second family, uh, a group of people that he trusts and that he enjoys being with. And so that support structure is something that I love about sports. We call ourselves a family, because yeah, we're there for each other. So what do you miss most about your mom? Her personality. Like, the type of person she was. Like, not too many people are giving like she was, and just having her around just was the best and not having her around is the worst, to be honest, but. We had a pretty special moment where I was able to pull him to the side and just be like, to go through what you've gone through and show up every day and want to be a good person and just love everyone and work hard, like we just embraced and just, I'm so proud of you. Um, and to me, that's why I coach. I mean, I absolutely love that, love Dante. <laughs> The memory of his mom remains in the forefront of Dante's mind. He lets her memory guide him. Keep doing good in school, of course, um, and just using my mom as motivation because when I feel I have her by my side, I can do anything, so. Dante plans to continue his basketball career in college and says he hopes to go into law enforcement to make his community a better and safer place. Yeah, good for him. All right.